Disneyland is your land. <laughs> Come seek an adventure at the old pirates, eh? Make the jump to life, Welcome to the Disneyland Beat, where our toes tap to a Disneyland drum. And we always whistle while we work. Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm TC. Anaheim has approved a $1.9 billion expansion plan, even though it's probably going to take more money than that. But Disneyland Forward is moving forward. Rezoning is happening. They've got some more roads. Lots of stuff's going to be happening in the future. What does this mean exactly? Well, we don't know yet. But over the next 30 years, we will see a major expansion to Disneyland. The most solid thing we know about, something that's actually been announced, is an Avatar-themed land. But it's all likely going to start with a new parking garage. It's supposed to include new expansions to both parks, new hotels, new shopping and dining district, and even a possible third theme park. It's just too early to speculate in any serious manner. Expect a lot of news at D23 later this year. Let's get back to reality for now. At Disneyland and DCA, the crowds have been heavy but not unmanageable. Lines are moving. There have been a lot of breakdowns. And there is a perceptual increase in the use of Lightning Lane, which costs $20 to $30 per person per day. We hope to see a one-time purchasable add-on for Magic Key holders soon, allowing them to buy Lightning Lane for the duration of the pass. Among the good reasons to actually visit Disneyland right now is Pixar Fest. It's here through August 6th. There's a new parade running at DCA. It's small, but it's really cute. Personally, we think Four Town steals the show, but the Soul and Luca floats are great as well. There are Pixar-themed decorations, sculptures, characters, and treats everywhere you look. If you can, do the new meet and greet with Doug. He can talk with you and play the squirrel game and everything. It's super cute. The Magic Happens Parade is running at Disneyland, so we got a parade in both parks, as well as the Together Forever Fireworks Spectacular at Disneyland, and World of Color 1 is running at DCA. Star Wars is also having a nice run. The After Hours Star Wars Nights are running, and they're our favorite After Hours events at the park. We have new scenes in Star Tours, adorable BDX droids are roaming Batuu daily, and Fire of the Rising Moon, the fireworks show as seen from Galaxy's Edge, is a big hit. Season of the Force ends June 2nd. That's the last day. We expect at that time Hyperspace Mountain will return to being Space Mountain a little bit after that. Catch it while you can. It is wonderful. Galaxy's Edge really needs a coaster. Disney has just opened Fantasmic Dining Package Booking. If you don't recall, the show was closed due to the dragon catching fire. Get your bookings in quick as they will surely sell out during the first few weeks. Fantasmic, without Murphy, is scheduled to return May 24th, and that's just a few weeks. Oogie Boogie Bash dates have been released. DCA will close early for the After Hours Party on 28 dates spanning from August 25th through August 31st. The party falls on pretty much every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday in there. Tickets aren't on sale yet. Hasn't been announced when they're going to go on sale. Just keep your eyes peeled. But this way you can plan on which date might work for you. When tickets do go on sale, they're likely going to go fast. Over in Orlando, Mickey's Not So Scary Party is starting August 6th. We just don't get how anyone is feeling Halloween-y in August. Let summer be summer, Disney. Disneyland does have a summer ticket deal going down, and it's for everyone, not just Southern California residents. With the three-day Disneyland ticket offer, guests may visit the Disneyland Resort theme parks for as little as $50 per child per day, ages 3 to 9, and $83 per adult per day. Three-day, one-park-per-day tickets, and during weekdays, Monday through Thursdays, they're $149 for kids, $249 for adults, and on weekends, they're $199 for kids and $299 for adults. There are three tours currently running at Disneyland. Walt's Main Street Story Tour, in which the highlight is going into Walt's apartment and having a little party on the veranda. There's the Full Circle Tour, which highlights the history of the Disneyland Railroad, which is really wonderful. And you get to ride around the park uh, with a guided tour in the Lily Bell Caboose, which is really charming. And there is the return of the Cultivating the Magic Tour, which focuses on the horticulture of the park, specifically focusing on Main Street USA and Adventureland with a special guided ride on Jungle Cruise. The flowers in the park right now are gorgeous. There are some exciting construction updates. Town Square starting to look like itself again as walls and scaffolding start to come down around Town Hall and the firehouse. For some time, months, the firehouse had a painted bell up there. Ugh. A nice shiny real bell has returned. It's a 
mess over by Haunted Mansion and Bayou Adventure with a full block of construction walls. It's messing with the flow of New Orleans Square and is keeping that railroad station closed. However, Tiana's water tower has received its tiara and the ride is looking so warm and friendly. Really inviting, all these flowers, it's nice. Opening of the ride is months and not years away and we can't wait. Construction on the Phantasmic stage has continued as we get closer to an opening date, and they still haven't fixed the Adventureland bathroom entrance. The Tomorrowland entrance is still behind construction walls like this little square there. It's been like that for years now. Huh. Meanwhile, over at DCA, most of the park is open. Construction walls have come down around the Soren Corridor, but still remain around the Grizzly River Run lockers. The raft ride is back open after its seasonal closure, by the way. And construction around the Blue Sky Cellar has walls up around a key portion of the park as a new DVC lounge is installed. And Redwood Creek Challenge Trail is closed for refurbishment. New dining has opened in downtown Disney and it looks fantastic. Three spots from Michelin starred chef Carlos Gaitan, Paseo Centrico and Tiendita have opened, taking a key spot in downtown Disney formerly held by Catal and Uva Bar. Be sure to check out these new spots. They're getting great reviews. We haven't had a chance to get there ourselves yet. They have alleviated demand for the other dining locations, making it easy to find a table at short notice in the district, well, easier. Construction on the west end of downtown Disney is still continuing. Once that opens up, it's gonna be even more dining options, more shopping options. It looks pretty cool. Let's take a look at ride closures for the spring. Of course, Tiana's Bayou Adventure hasn't opened yet, and Haunted Mansion is closed to get new queue enhancements. Expect both to reopen in the fall later this year. No official date has been set. In the Opera House, Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln is closed, though the lobby is still open. We have just learned that it's going to get a multi-million dollar upgrade, and uh, they are quoted as saying that the Abraham Lincoln animatronic is not going anywhere. No idea when this one's going to return. It has a TBD return date. Winnie the Pooh closed without much warning this past April 1st, but it's not an April Fool's joke. It surely has something to do with Bayou Adventure or Pooh Corner as the ride was recently refurbished and looks great. Again, no announced reopening date here. That means on the walk from Pirates of the Caribbean all the way to Rise of the Resistance, the canoes and the raft to Tom Sawyer's Island are the only operating rides. We have an announced upcoming closure. Sailing Ship Columbia will close from May 12th to the 23rd, likely for phantasmic rigging prep. Meanwhile, at DCA, the Boudin Bakery Tour is closed and scheduled to reopen May 31st. Now, does this mean that Colin Mockery and Rosie O'Donnell's 2001 intro video might be getting updated? <laughs> I hope they use the same actors, but it sure could use some updating. As we mentioned, the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail is closed with no opening date announced, and that's it for attractions. Cocina Cucamonga will close April 29th through May 24th, and that will definitely impact San Francisco, and I won't know where to get my quesabirias. Well, hey, that's it for us today. Thanks so much for joining us. Help us out by liking, subscribing, and watching more of our videos. May the light in the firehouse window always shine brightly. And may your dreams always come true. See you at the parks. I think I just got scanned. Good job. Wow. I'm going to be doing a little celebration dance. Do a little celebration dance. Good job.